One, two, one, two, ready, kick it. Hi, my name is Jono. I am IT manager for O9 Solutions in Amsterdam. This is the drum kit. It's tough being IT. Holy crap, that was actually really cool. Alright guys, welcome to my place. Hey Siri, turn on the living room light. You guys want a coffee? This coffee machine I actually bought in Australia. It's made in Italy, but I uh, brought it with me here. Because it makes great coffee. It's like drumming is like an extra kick. So you have the coffee kick and then you have the drumming kick that kind of boosts you up a bit. Sorry, I just need to, I need to close the door because the just realized the cat's not supposed to go outside. This is Suki. She's a little crybaby. That's why we call her Suki. Suk means crybaby in Australian. Hello, testing one, two, three. It's good. From ever since I can remember, uh, my parents used to tell me that I would always run around the house. A little bit hyperactive. Uh, I used to bang on things a lot as a kid. Like just bang on cupboards, pans, pots, those type of things. Um, and one thing specifically I do remember as a kid is I used to have this blue uh, bin of toys, kind of like a Sohai, plastic. And uh, I used to just empty it out and just throw the toys on the ground and then turn it upside down and just bang on it like a drum. The music I got into was also punk, punk rock, and various punk bands like Green Day, um, Blink-182, Good Charlotte, things like that. And they, it was it was not, not necessarily just the music that they played, but also the look that they had. Like I really, I really liked how they would dress themselves. Like they would have spiked hair or colored hair, piercings, like crazy clothes. So I kind of also dressed um, like them. Went through phases of dyeing my hair black, uh, spiking it all crazy different ways, coloring it different colors. But yeah, it was just, for that, it was kind of like a, a lifestyle, like a, you know, like a, an attitude that you'd have. Like you dress a certain way and you also play a certain music. It was kind of like a, something that, yeah, a lifestyle that I kind of was really drawn to. Uh, we were called Burn Inside. Uh, just some random name to sound, sounds crazy, cool. Um, we just, yeah, we played heavy metal. We had, we wrote all of our own songs, all originals, and we played, um, that was my first experience playing in, in bars. We played a lot of gigs around Sydney um, just to get some experience and to have fun. And then from there, I joined another band called Sons of Cascadia. Uh, we were a bit more serious. Uh, we, we focused more on the rock side. We weren't as heavy. Uh, and with that band, we tried to sound a little bit more commercial. Uh, we, we made a film clip uh, and we tried to get on the radio and, and those type of things. Um, again, also playing around Sydney and kind of building a bit of a following. At 09, I am IT manager for Europe. My role has changed since I started to, to what it is now. And that's mainly because, you know, 09 has been on an incredible growth journey. It started off kind of in a, in a very um, startup phase. And when I joined, it was kind of just like getting in there and understanding what's happening with IT. Making sure everyone has a laptop on time, that can get access to all the systems uh, they need when they start. Also onboarding new people. O9 has grown incredibly quickly and we've onboarded since I've started like more than 200, 250 people. So it's supporting things like that and also just supporting every day like um, computer problems. It's tough being IT. All these people asking you questions and all you gotta tell, all you gotta respond with is please restart or turn it off and then turn it back on again. Um, so there's been a few cases where people say uh, their camera doesn't work. Uh, they, they join a meeting and it's just a black screen. Sometimes there's actually something wrong with the laptop and the camera just won't start. Um, but sometimes 
uh, the person hasn't realized that they've got the camera cover shut and it's just as simple as reopening it again and voila it works the the group element of being in a band like I, I, I try to draw elements of that into you know having a team you know, I have an IT team who are fantastic and we kind of you know I, I, I make an effort to kind of bond over some find something to bond over so at 09 I'm also part of a vibe squad which we organize various social events tonight we have a international food bowl uh, where we kind of get together bring food from our uh, country of origin and just share. I have chart straight from the streets of Mumbai. It's not ready yet, it's almost there. I brought lamingtons. Lamingtons are an Australian cake. Let's go check them out. I tried some. Yeah? Are they good? good. Even with the coconut. I was actually quite impressed with how they turned out. Like eight out of ten. <laughs> but I don't like coconuts. <laughs> Cheers. So at 09, there are um, a group of people that also play music. Um, there's a few guitarists, there's some bass players, there's piano players, singers. Uh, but a group of us in the Amsterdam office, we actually kind of decided to get together and just play some music uh, just for fun. Some Fridays we'd uh, get together, I'd bring a little uh, cajon drum. It's a small little box that you can just basically just sit on and you just drum on it like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's hollow, so it creates like a lot, a lot of bass when you're uh, tapping on it. And the front of the box has like some thin wire, which kind of rattles to sound like a snare drum. So you've got like the bass and the treble dynamics. Uh, and the reason, main reason why I bought it was just to kind of create like a bit of a jam vibe in the office. And I just kind of wanted to get people together and just, you know, be at work, but not just talk about, talk about work. Just to talk about something different or do something different. It's a real cool uh, bonding experience. So what inspires me to make beats is, it's kind of second nature. Like I don't, I'm not really kind of systematically thinking, okay, I wanna do this pattern with that and, and throw accents. I kind of just, just kind of flows, like how I'm, how I'm feeling or, um, Sometimes I'll have a beat in, like an idea in my mind, just be like, okay, I want to like and then I just translate that into playing. Um, and I'd be like, holy crap, that was actually really cool. I wish I was recording that. <laughs> All right, so this is the drum kit. Bought this a few months ago. Um, I did have a drum kit in Australia. I didn't bring it with me only because it was going to be way too expensive. So I sold it, sold my drum kit in Australia, which was a nice one. It was a bright green sparkle. Um, but this one is clearly orange. Kind of like to go for bright colors. After a day, you can kind of get stressed and, you know, um, you're just dealing with a lot of issues on your mind all the time and drumming helps me kind of at least get away from that a little bit. Hitting something, hitting things just, I don't know, there's something like a release in there. It's like like squeezing a stress ball or something. People like get released from, from that. It's like, I have that same kind of feeling when I'm, when I'm hitting a, a drum kit. You know, I'm, I'm able to hit something and make a sound and kind of create a beat. It makes me feel happy, good, positive. Um, but there's also some like emotional parts as well. Like if I'm playing along to a song that you know is, has a lot of passion, has a lot of energy, and it's it's there's some emotions there. Like I just feel like I can kind of just move with the music and just kind of uh, feel the emotions of the singers and 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 what the music is creating. De definitely, drumming is something that I just couldn't live without. I don't think.
I'm Jonathan Knott, and this is my passion. What's yours? So just creating systems to, um, hello. Uh, creating systems to uh, help current O9ers work, work uh, more efficiently. This is Suki, by the way. Oh, bye.